Hello everyone in Cyber World. Welcome back to another video. I'm Richard, also known as Poorman. And I'm Jennifer, also known as Mrs. Poorman. In today's video, we're going to make a mobile table saw stand. So today we're going to be making a table saw stand that's kind of a continuation from the workbench that we made last week. The idea behind this, instead of making a, a single stand for, for all my miter saw and my table saw, is that with this mobility of the, the table saw stand, I can move it into either a vertical or horizontally um, so that I can feed wood uh, that may be wider or longer and have a table feed uh, on the other side that, that's appropriate. So that's why we broke it up into two separate pieces. Uh, let's take a look at how we did this. And if you like our videos, please subscribe. We began by measuring and cutting half inch birch plywood for the base shelf and the top. We then measured and cut the 2x4s for the frame and legs. Because this project is part of an inexpensive workbench, I was not particularly worried about perfection by planing boards to the exact same measurements or bracing the parts to an exact 90 degrees, so I pretty much eyeballed everything while assembling. Yes, I should have used a mallet for this, but Tim the Toolman Taylor wouldn't. When assembling the frame, I pre-drilled and then used wood screws. I traced a 2x4 on the base where I was going to cut a hole for the legs. Then I cleaned up the lines to make the cutting easier later. I drilled holes and then used jigsaw to cut out the holes for the legs. I placed the board on the bottom frame and then inserted the 2x4s. Then I laid the base on the side and added the top frame. Well, I got smart this time and used a hammer to tap it in place. And used screws to secure the legs. And we are nearly done already. I added lockable polyurethane casters. Then brought out the table saw, which I'll bolt down later, and we are good to go. As I mentioned at the beginning, making the table saw stand mobile allows for different positioning to the outfeed table for cutting long boards or wide sheets. And there you have it, easy peasy. We hope you enjoyed the video and next week we're gonna show you how to build a poor man's air filter system. So until then, bye-bye.